Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I'm warning you, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to just talk and talk and I'm gonna feel free to just explain about price action or what I want. Um, if you're not feeling comfortable watching long videos, it's okay to watch it in two parts. However, I just have a very good morning right here. The weather outside is amazing in Dubai and I believe it's really the most beautiful winter in the world. And I think here um, we are going to talk right now about the price action and I'm going to explain to you how we can actually identify the reversal price actions using extreme trader style. First of all, of course, I want to remind everyone that what you are about to see here some of you might not disagree with it. How, sorry, my, some of you might disagree with it. But however, it's my my own way actually to fund the reversals. And I want to reveal it here. And hopefully this is going to help a lot of people in their trading journey. So, of course, the very first thing we need to understand about price actions. That actually there is no no way. You know what I was going to say, right? <laughs> there is no way that they are going to be 100% confirmation for the reversal. Um Price actions can just be like an indicator or something like a hinting that there's going to be a reversal happening right here. So you always have to be careful about your fund and never, never go one lot uh, or full lot, sorry, on one trade. The second secret about price actions is you must wait until the candle closes. Actually, this is one of the major parts people actually confusing about when they are trading using the price action. They are seeing, for example, a pin bar has appeared on the one hour time frame of course i think all of us here knows that pin bar i i don't know why pin bar is one of the most famous price actions in the world and i think most of the traders even the very beginners they know about the pin bar and i'm gonna explain the reason later anyway uh, for example they are seeing the pin bar has appeared on the one hour time frame or the four hour time frame once they see the price action here happened they immediately place sell right away without waiting for this candle to close i mean the candle is still going up and down is it still uh is it's, it's, it's still alive the candle is still alive and you cannot decide that it's gonna close as a pin bar until it finally closes i mean some of the candles of course they are gonna rise a little bit more they will they will trick you and you will think that they are actually a breakout candles but of course they are not and you will notice that this is a four hour uh, four hour time frame candle and when, when you are seeing this uh, the uh, when you see when you are seeing the breakout candle the ca uh, the candle still has at least three or two hours to close and may it might actually in the end close as a pin bar so what you have thought in the beginning is going to be a breakout candle has appeared to be a pin bar. And of course, after seeing the pin bar, most likely the market is going to fall down. Unlike the breakout candle, once we see it, most likely the market is going to, of course, rising. Therefore, waiting for the candle to close to define or to identify the, 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 the price action is a very, very important thing. By the way, I think I have forgotten here a very very important part to add in this uh, slideshow right here what is price action <laughs> what is price action i'm sure a lot of uh, beginners they are they are just listening and they are wondering what the hell is this guy talking about what is price action what do we what do we mean by price action what we are meaning by price action um let me just show you this price action is actually uh, the shape or i can say the shape of the candles when, once you are seeing, uh, for example, uh, a, 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 a certain shape of a candle at a so at top of the resistance or the bottom of a support, it actually referred as price action. Of course, price action can be as well identified as a pattern. For example, uh, by the way, we are not going to talk about the patterns in this video. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the candle shapes and the price action of them. For example, double top. That double top usually indicates a bearish reversal if we are seeing it at the top of the resistance. But however, uh, this is still considered as a price action. We are having here a face. I just wanted to draw it. I don't know why. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, 
that is also considered as a price action because it's telling you how the market is behaving right now and what is going to happen later however in this video as i said before we are going to talk about the candles pattern the candles shape and how we can read these candles to identify the next direction of the market so uh, let's go back to my slideshow uh, of course can't be trusted upon high impact in news that is a very important thing right here because of course when you are seeing the, 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 the candle for example you are seeing a strong bullish breakout candle has appeared but you are missing that this price action or this breakout candle has appeared only upon the high impact in news it can just be a reaction of the market usually these breakout candles usually can't be trusted so we are trying our best to avoid them uh, we can identify them and I'm gonna tell you later how we can actually identify these breakout candles and usually they, they just look abnormal they just don't belong to the chart and you will see that I will explain that in the video as well of course of also better to check them on the monthly weekly daily four hour time frames uh, price action on the five minute time frame or 15 minute time frame or even the one hour time frame one hour is all right but i mean if you really are a swing trader or you actually want to decide uh, which trade or you're, you're gonna take if it's gonna be a sell or buy it's always better to refer to the price action on these bigger time frames always remember the bigger the time frame the more realistic the results or the or or, or the, the direction there is i think no way or not no way i cannot say there is no way but it's a very highly successful uh, it has it has a very high successful rate to trade the, the price action based on the monthly or weekly or daily chart so if for example you are seeing a pin bar on the monthly chart has appeared on the monthly chart then on the daily candle you have seen a breakout candle or a bullish breakout candle and meanwhile on the monthly chart you are seeing a pin bar has appeared which one of them you should believe of course believe the bigger time frame so it means that the market actually gonna actually continue the fall and the bullish breakout candle which has appeared on the daily chart it doesn't really cut it now let's move to the next part which is actually very important to check where and when the price action has appeared or is happening actually so many beginners they are missing this very important rule sadly once they see a pin bar appeared for example as I said before, it's a very famous uh, price action and all the beginners, they know it. Um, once they are seeing the price action, even if they are seeing it at the bottom of the support, they are seeing, oh, price action, oh, a pin bar. Go sell. Let's go sell. It means the market is going to fall down, right? Let's go sell. And for their surprise, the market is going to do the opposite and it's going to actually rise up and they are gonna think oh we have been tricked we have been fooled there is no way to make money in forex there is no way that we can know the direction the price action is a joke no it's not the story uh price action actually it's very important to understand that it's 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 the most important thing is where and when you are seeing the price action seeing the price action at the time of the high impact in use, for example, is useless. That's not going to work. Um, where? Seeing, for example, the price action on the wrong place is not really going to help you. So seeing a, a bearish pin bar appearing on the top of, oh, sorry, the bottom of the support, it never, never means that the market is going to fall down. It never means that the sellers are pressuring, are making a pressure on the market and they are going to take the market down. No, 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 no. That's not the case. Anyway, uh, enough talking and let's go to the actual uh, practice and let's go to the chart and let's see how we can actually uh, train uh, or actually uh, enhance our trading using the price actions so let me bring up few for a few uh, to you some of the price actions that i actually using on my trade day trading and i'm going to reveal it here one second hold on all right so actually i have taken some pictures of the price actions before and just to save your time let me just show you for example uh, the pin bar of course the pin bar is very famous uh, one of the price actions and let me just tell you where and when we can actually start trading once we see the pin bar appeared so what we need to do actually for example is if we are actually started to trade 
For example, look at this. This is one example of a pin bar has appeared on the euro, sorry, on the pound USD um, that was actually on September 1st. This is the price action here. This is the pin bar. And as we can see, first of all, the pin bar has appeared right after a breakout from the resistance. Once you see actually a previous resistance, like that, if you see a breakout from the resistance, and this is identified as a breakout candle, and by the way, we are going to talk about the price uh, about the breakout candles as well. So once we see a breakout candle has appeared right after the breakout from a resistance, wait for some ca few candles until you see the pin bar has appeared right after the breakout. If you see that, it means most likely two scenarios, and both of them are gonna be a winning for you. Number one. The market right now is ready for a retest of the broken resistance and we can expect now from the market to continue the fall all the way to retest the broken resistance right here however if you are planning to actually continue the trades and you are willing to uh, keep the trade running what you can do is keep the trade running of course and the market is going to continue the fall either way you are a winner because in the either way uh, the market actually has fallen down so it's always the behavior of the market, of the forex market like that. Always when there is a breakout happening from any, sorry, when there is a breakout happening from any resistance, the market's behavior usually is to retest that broken level. And once we see here a pin bar has appeared after the breakout of the, of the uh, resistance, it means that the market right now is ready to retest and most likely is gonna at least reach that level. So if we started charting right here, we could have gotten out with almost 135 pips of profit. Of course, we can check the same for the support as well. And let me try to find something else. On the pound USD, I'm trying to find a good example. Um, I'm trying to find a good example. I want a support. I want to see a support has uh, been breaking out, out from and the market actually has reversed. Let me just save, uh, let me save your times guys and I will pause the video until I find something. Yep, right here we can see the good example as well. Uh, here as we can see we had right here a pin bar and the pin bar has just appeared right after the breakout from that support. So we can see this is a bearish breakout candle. That bearish breakout candle has actually made the breakout from that previous support level. And right after the bearish breakout candle, we can see that the, the pin bar has appeared. Indicates that the market right now is ready to shoot up and retest the broken support level. And as I said before, um, most likely what will gonna happen that the retest after that is gonna fail in most cases. After seeing the price action, the retest is gonna fail and the market is gonna continue the fall until hit the nearest resistance. So anyway, if we have entered this trade, we have got we, ha, we can get in, uh, have gotten out with about 30 pips of profit. So this is one of the rules about how to trade using the, the, the pin bar. Pin bar can never be traded blindly. Pin bar can never actually be entrusted any, at any moment you can see it. Um, this is a very good example. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, this is what I was waiting for. Actually, this is not really a pin bar. But however, we can consider it as... Uh, somehow some of the traders will consider it as a pin bar however as you can see right here the market actually didn't really fall that much uh, after seeing this price action it happened on a resistance level and sadly the market didn't fall at all and just continued to rise of course as i said before the rule number one for the pin bar that we have to see a resistance level and we have to see a breakout happen from the resistance and after that we want to see the pin bar appear that is not the case right here. The pin bar has simply just appeared on the same level of the resistance. There was no breakout from that resistance yet. Therefore, that is one of the reasons this, uh, this pin bar here has actually failed and cannot be trusted. And that's why actually usually when I'm trading myself, I, I've, I avoid it because it didn't happen right after a breakout. So it's not convenient that the market actually gonna be ready to retest the broken level. Uh, I'm trying to find another example. I want to be sure that this is very clear for you guys. However, I think uh, we have to save something for the next price actions. So uh, let me just go now and let me just go to the beginning. Let's talk about the other price action. 
the other price action is actually my favorite, my very favorite price action, the one that I really trust, and most of you, they know it already, Din -da -da, this one. This is the price action that, which I really like, and I cannot lie to you, I don't know the name of this price action. <laughs> That's why I always refer for it as my favorite price action. Um, actually, guys, I have learned Forex from my own experience. I didn't read the books as you're expecting from me. I just uh, trained myself how to trade Forex and spent years just looking at the chart to understand how the market moves. So if I don't know the name of this price action, it doesn't mean that what I'm teaching right here is false. So anyway, this is price action right here. Actually, uh, th some of the people refer to it as a reverse hammer, but I don't think this is a reverse hammer at all. A reverse hammer could be something like this guy, uh, th this guy right here. That can be called as a reverse hammer, and this one as well actually can be referred as a, as a hammer. However, um, what I'm trying to say here, this price action right here, what is the, 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 the identical or actually the, the special thing about this price action? Actually, what we are looking for is, um, if we are seeing the market actually has, for example, we're having right here a support level, even with many attempts, with two or three or four attempts. And we can see right here at the third attempt, and if any attempt, third, fourth, fifth attempt, whatever, if we see at, this, at the bottom level of the support, if we see a candle that look like this, let me delete these lines, if we see a candle that look like this, um, hold on, exactly, like that, if we see a very tiny short a tail at the bottom and long wick at the top that usually means that the market right now is ready to reverse it's going to be a bullish reversal of course the vice versa if we see that candle appeared at the top of the resistance and we can see right here that the candle has appeared like that with a very short uh, wick at the top and long tail at the bottom this this usually means that the market right now is ready to actually fall and make a bearish reversal so the resistance actually gonna reverse like that um if we check the history of the chart we can see that this has worked actually almost all of the time that is right here a very good example we can see right here that this candle has appeared the very same candle i'm talking about right now it has appeared at the bottom of the support level and as we can see right after this candle has appeared on daily candle the market actually has reversed for the next four days. So the market has made the bullish reversal for the next few days. Uh, we can see it right actually right here as well. Right after the pin bar. Actually, that was a very good deal for those who have entered this trade right here with a sell because here we can see uh, both of them. We can see the pin bar and we can see also my favorite price action has appeared as well. And after the appearance of this candle, the market actually has fallen for the next week. Uh, we can see it as well right here. This is one of the examples as well. Uh, this is the reverse hammer. And as we can see, once it has appeared on a previous support level, the market actually has uh, made the bullish reversal. And we can see it as well right here. This is the candle as well. And as we can see, it was also on a support level and the market kept rising. Uh, let me show you other examples where we can see this candle. As Actually, we can see it right here. Right here. I'm telling you guys, if you test, if you backtest this strategy, it's going to be amazing. You will not believe how successful it's going to be. I mean, the success rate for this one is really scary. And I think it's one of the most trusted price actions in the world in Forex. And as we can see right here, it, it has appeared and the market immediately has reversed and went all the way up. However, uh, let me just check uh, for another, another example. Um, just want to be sure right here. Yes, exactly. As you can see right here, the candle has appeared right here, this red candle. And right after its appearance, the market went down. Now, it's always important, as I said before, to identify the level where these candles are appearing. So we have to understand first if the market is really going to reverse at this moment or not. For example, right now I'm here on the uh, pound USD. I'm still with the pound USD. For example, let's assume that this candle has appeared, for example, right here do you think 
if this candle which i'm talking about for example right here the candle with the small tail uh, small wick at the top and a long tail at the bottom which is usually my favorite price action indicating a bearish reversal do you really think it is if it's appeared right here the market is going to fall down yes or no think for a moment if the candle has appeared right here let me draw for you the line so you can uh, answer easily like that answer yourself guys please think if the candle appeared right here can we consider that the market is gonna fall down and we can start shorting it the answer is no why no why no because on the left as we can see there was no single previous resistance at the same level um the market actually has just made the breakout from that support level right here and the market actually is gonna actually as as i have said before once we have uh, a breakout from a can uh, from a resistance level the market actually going to continue the rise until it hit the nearest resistance so you cannot really expect the market to reverse at this point right here because on the left we don't have a resistance right here we have a resistance right here as well but that's not going to happen because the market actually has just made the breakout from the resistance and the rule I'm, I'm telling everyone about since long time if we are having here a resistance and we can see the breakout is going to happening the breakout is going to hold its position and going to continue the rise until it hit the, near, the nearest resistance right before the broken resistance i said that in many videos and i cannot repeat it again and again so anyway uh, it's important that we can start shorting the market only at the same level of that resistance right here because that is exactly where we are expecting from the market to reverse and of course we can expect it from the market to reverse right here as well so it's important as i said before to to understand that we cannot just uh, place short or buy at any level we are seeing these price actions we have to understand that uh, the levels are very important as well so um i don't know guys do you need more okay let, let's play a game let's play a game uh i'm gonna select any pair randomly for example uh i'm selecting randomly guys i'm just uh let me just anything okay usd gpy let's go to the usd <laughs> because your usd is very famous now what i'm going to do i'm going to scroll scroll back to the left you can hear the mouse right wait so you can hear how fast i'm scrolling uh i cannot do it anyway I think you can hear it so i'm just scrolling very very fast because i want to play a game with you now let's see if we can predict the next direction of the market of course guys there is no way i remember what 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 is going to happen on the right side now let's see let's wait to see any price action and let's see together if i can guess the direction of course i'm not showing off at all i'm just i just want to show you that um if you understand how to apply these rules you can guess most of the time as i said before as well um these these price actions uh they can never be a hundred percent confirmation so there is a chance that actually i can guess the direction wrong but however let's see how how much percentage of winning i can have so anyway let's i'm just scrolling like that to the right and let's see right here look at that this is the price action i'm talking about this is my favorite price action look at that we can see right here that we are having uh, a very tiny small uh at the uh, tail at the bottom and long wick at the top now i cannot see on the left if there was a strong support on the left or not but i'm gonna assume that there was a, a support in the past so therefore i think the market right now is reversing so my guess that the market actually after this price action appeared is gonna continue the rise let's see together if my correction my my prediction is correct so let's go and it wasn't right however um let's see the market went up for okay no it was right how come yes look at that look at that after the, the appearance of this uh candle the market actually has went for another 115 pips of profit of course the market went up right here to retest the broken support level so yeah my, my prediction was right my prediction was right the market went up all the way and it, it retested the broken previous support level and from that point it reversed all right let's continue so let me just scroll more to the right let me delete this 
and let's see if we can predict the market look at that guys look at that the mark the candle has appeared right here but it didn't work why why it didn't work because as i said before the price action level is very important we have to see the candle appearing right after a breakout we have to see for example if there was a, a bullish breakout candle from that resistance and then we see the candle appeared right here that means the market is actually gonna continue the fall by the way this rule here uh, of the breakout um, that the price action should appear after the breakout it applies on all price actions i forgot to mention that it's not only the pin bar it's much must uh, most likely all of the price actions so let's continue i want to scroll more to the to the right and let's see if we can identify the ah uh, shit, 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 shit it happened it happened i was going to guess this one as we can see right here this is the candle guys this is the candle and i was guess, gonna guess that the market will actually gonna fall after the appearance of the candle after look at that this is very important we have right here the broken the resistance the broken resistance and we have right here the bullish breakout candle which actually have made the breakout from that resistance right after the appearance of this breakout candle this price action my favorite price action has appeared indicates that the market right now is ready to show to fall down and retest the broken resistance oh man that was a good predict anyway let's continue i'm just scrolling more to the right slowly 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 and uh no it's not really gonna work i think yes it worked uh i was looking at the scandal right here uh i consider this is also my my favorite price action but the problem it actually actually it was itself the breakout candle from that resistance as we can see after its appearance the market actually has continued the fall anyway uh stop wasting your time i think that's enough of playing and i think uh i have confirmed uh that this is really a very good price action that we can rely on uh the last price action i want to talk about is actually what we call right here some people actually prefer to call this the morning star morning star actually is a very very good price action indicates usually a bullish reversal there is also the evening star which usually indicates for a bearish reversal of course it's going to be the opposite side of this one so this is the price action i'm talking about these three candles um it doesn't really matter uh, the size of the tails or wicks on these candles both candles what matters is the shape of these candles should be like this it has to be one bearish candle and a doji in the in the middle and another bullish candle it doesn't really matter if this these two candles have a pin bar uh, have a uh, wicks or tails it doesn't really cut it so this is one of the price actions that we can actually rely on now it's not as strong as this price action i'm telling you about my favorite price action <coughs> However, it's actually also a good one. Let me show you examples. Uh, if I'm lucky enough to find one right away. Um, I'm trying to find one quickly. Uh, that is actually not easy to find. Actually, this one here can be considered as a morning, uh, sorry, as an evening star. Uh, as we can see, we had right here these two candles. Um, one of them is bullish and of course the other one is bearish meanwhile the middle one is not a doji but however it's just like in the center and it, it looked like a doji therefore that candle actually that 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 pattern that can that price action can be referred to as an evening star uh we can see it also right here i think uh i think i saw it somewhere i think i scrolled way too back um i really don't want to waste your time more than that guys uh because i want to talk about the the, the breakout candles so this is no not this one let me pause the video for a second right here we can see it appeared on the pound usd right here at the level of the support level as we can see right here guys this is exactly the shape of the morning star uh one bearish candle then what seems like a dodgy and another bullish breakout can uh, sorry another uh, bullish candle <clears throat> appearing at the support level indicates that the market right now is ready to shoot more up so the problem with this price action it actually takes long time to appear because it's a pattern of three candles and it's not actually uh being shown often i mean 
I prefer the price actions of one candle, such as a pin bar or reverse hammer or my favorite price action. Uh, but the problem with this price action is hard or rare to appear. And you have to be lucky actually to catch one. So that's why I don't really trust it or I don't really uh, use it. But however, we cannot deny that it's one of the most trusted price actions in trading uh, industry. Now let's talk about major important things, which is the breakout candle. Breakout candle is actually somehow a mystery for a lot of uh, beginners. They don't know how to identify the breakout candle. Also, they don't know how to identify if the breakout candle is going to actually continue the rise or actually going to continue Oh, sorry, actually going to reverse afterwards. Now, let me just tell you something. Um, there is one shape of the breakout candle, which I really trust. And I think after the appearance of that breakout candle, most likely the market is actually going to shoot up more. It depends. It's actually going to go in the same direction of the breakout candle. That shape actually looked like that. For example, um, if we see, for example, a resistance level, and we can see that one of the candles has actually made the breakout and the candle look like that. First of all, it's going to be a long candle, full bar. And there is a small, tiny tail at the bottom and also small, small tail like that at the top. It means that the market is actually going to continue the rise. Most likely. That is what's what going to happen. Most likely, this candle usually being followed later by one or two or three another bullish candles. Of course, vice versa, if we are seeing this, this candle has appeared on a support level and we can see a bearish breakout candle appeared. And that bearish breakout candle has a small, very tiny uh, wick at its top and it has small tail at the bottom. Usually that indicates that the market actually going to continue the fall for the next two or three candles. Um, let me show you a real, a real life uh, test of that candle or something happened really. Uh, I'm trying to find something. Hey, this is the one here. Exactly. This is the one. Look at that. We can see that right here. We had a previous support level. That support has been breaking out from and this is the breakout candle. As you can see, uh, this breakout candle look exactly as what I said uh, just now. It has a tiny, tiny small wick at the top and it has a full bar, long candle and has a longer wick than the tail. Uh, the, uh, sorry, sorry, it has a longer tail than the wick. What happened later on? The market kept falling for the next two days. Uh, let me find another one. Uh, I need to find a good example of that breakout candle because usually it works as we can see right here yes we can see right here this is the candle uh, we have here a small tiny tail at the bottom and a normal size wick at the top making the break out from that resistance level right here and as we can see what happened later on the next two candles were actually another bullish candles and let me try to find another example i'm trying to f to show you that this is really works and the breakout candle, this this shape of the price action of the breakout candle is really working very well. Uh, here as well, we can see this uh, breakout candle has appeared. I, I hide it, the wicks. Look at that. This is the breakout candle I'm talking about. We had right here a previous support level. That support has been breaking out from. And as we can see, can you guys see this? Can you guys see it? The, the wick at the top is so tiny that we can barely see it. And the, and the tail at the bottom also is so tiny. The idea or the concept of this candle is really important. So it looked like this. It's just a small tiny wick at the top and a little bit longer tail at the bottom and means the market is actually going to continue the fall. Interesting. Now let's look for a bullish one. Uh, we need to find a bullish one. Um, a bullish one. A bullish, bullish, bullish. Uh, I can find one. I cannot find anyone actually. I'm just looking here and there. Mm. This one right here. But however, actually there is no wick or sorry, no tail at the bottom at all. Making me myself not trusting it that much. To be honest, if that happened at the time of trading, I wouldn't really trust it because it's not what I'm talking about. Uh, most of them actually bearish. Um, I think this is the one right here. Look at that. 
So we had right here a previous resistance as we can see and that was the bullish breakout candle from that resistance level and what we can see right here is this candle has appeared the, the breakout candle with a barely can be seen tiny tail at the bottom and normal size wick at the top and actually the market has actually shot up meaning the market actually has uh, continued the uh, rising so this is very important because when you uh, for example for example when you are seeing here a resistance level and you are placing right here sell order so you placed a sell order right here now what you can expect from the market actually if the market gonna continue rise against your order you can expect from the market to fall down and retest the broken resistance so you can close your trade with the minimizing with, with minimizing the losses to the maximum however i'm telling you if you ever placed sell at that resistance level then you see the scandal appeared close your trade immediately don't keep it running because most likely what will gonna happen that the market gonna continue the rise uh, the same can be seen right here as well we can see right here this is the resistance level and that was the breakout candle from that resistance as you can see this candle as well has a small tiny uh, tail at the bottom and the normal size wick at the top indicates that the market is going to continue the rise that is exactly what happened and the market really indeed continued rising so as i said before be careful when you are trading if you are see if you are selling at the resistance and you are seeing this candle has appeared immediately close your trades so i think that was everything regarding uh extreme trader price action style and what i said what, what i talked about right now on this video was only the candle shapes and i think on the next video we're going to talk about the uh, patterns and what kind of patterns we can rely on to identify the uh, reversal patterns i think uh, the video is only 36 minutes which is really long enough I was expecting to, for it to be 45 minutes or one hour, but I'm glad it's only 36 minutes. I hope this guys uh, was very informative to you and you have learned more about these uh, price actions and you can understand more when and where we can use them. Uh, please stay tuned, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to talk about the patterns and in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.